What's up, everybody? My name is Wiley Messer, and I am the new host, a new host for Weld.com. I am also the welding instructor at Great Crossing High School in Georgetown, Kentucky. And today's video, we wanted to spend a few minutes uh, talking to you about women in welding and giving you a student point of view uh, of that. Um, so we sat down with three of our students today and had a, a, a brief discussion about what uh, their thoughts are as far as welding and what being in the industry as a young lady um, seems like. And we got a, a, a small peek into um, the thoughts and, and ideas of a young uh, woman going into the industry. Please introduce yourself and tell us about what you do. Uh, hi, I'm Abby Christopher. I do all-star cheer and I also cheer for the school. I'm the SkillsUSA secretary and the Great Crossing FFA reporter. Hi, I'm Alexandria Courtney. I competitively jump horses and I weightlift. Um, I'm also the SkillsUSA treasurer. Hi, I'm Tia Bennett. I'm an all-star cheerleader and I also cheer for the school. And I'm the Skills USA reporter and the Great Crossing FFA secretary. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you coming down and talking to us about this stuff. Um, as you guys know, it's uh, what is it, International Women's Month or mm -hmm. Women's Week? or Tomorrow's what? National Women's Day. Not, not National Women's Day, but it's the whole month is for women. Okay. So a lot of people are talking about uh, women in skilled trades and things like that this week. So... Just, uh, we just want to kind of get your perspective on, on things because we, we see all the time um, women in welding from the adult point of view and like after you're out of high school and they're like on the, on the job and in the career. So we just want to ask you guys a couple questions and, and get your guys' opinion on things and feel free to tell me anything you want. Um, we don't have to limit ourselves on, on what, what's discussed here. Um, so uh, I'll just ask these questions out and whoever wants to answer them, feel free to answer them. Um, I'll start with this one. Uh, did you think growing up that welding was a possible career for you? Um, if not, what career ambitions did you or do you currently have going forward? Um, well, growing up, I didn't really know what welding was. Like I've always, like I've seen my dad do it, but I never really knew what it was. Mm -hmm. So when I was able to learn what it was, um, I still don't see it as like a possible like full-time career but it's something I would like to do like in like my off days or like the weekends with my dad and like as an actual career I want to be like something with like math like a CPA an accountant like something like that yeah your, your dad and your family run a pretty good size welding um, and repair business yeah so that would definitely be <laughs> useful for you to have this skill to be able to um, pass that off and into your your family's business. Anyone else? Um, I definitely did think it was a possible career choice. I wasn't really introduced to welding, but trades in general, mm -hmm. like my dad um, basically does engineering maintenance at Toyota. Yeah. And he always had me working at, on things at the house with him. And my parents both always encouraged me to go into STEM. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, so do you see see yourself going into the welding engineering side of things or do you mm -hmm. just see yourself going into like a mechanical engineering like a generalized i probably would go into welding engineering since i know i actually enjoy welding yeah i think it's i think it definitely serve you well along the way um tia any thoughts um well i never thought about it growing up because i never really knew what it was until i got in, like to high school uh well always since i was younger i was wanting to work with animals and be like more on like the medical side of a lot of things and I still continue to plan on my medical goals, but I want to do welding as like a little side hobby just yeah. for fun. Yeah. I mean, you, you can make a fairly decent living uh, just doing side work. I mean, as I mean, I'm a teacher, but during the summer, I'm, I do welding work all year round. So I usually make close to my teacher salary just during the summer. Our next question is, uh, do you have any anyone in your family? who is a welder or in another skilled trade. And I think we kind of touched on that a little bit. So Abby, will you tell us about your, your family business um, and give us their your business name and everything so that okay. the people on the YouTubes can 
can hit you up for some work. So my uh, grandfather and my dad um, actually own a repair business in Lancaster, Kentucky called Christopher Repair. Um, my grandfather started it, I don't even know how long ago, but my dad started working in there like growing up. So that's where he learned everything from. He learned everything from his dad. And my older brother also does um, mechanics with John Deere. And he's kind of learned that from my dad and it's kind of like a pass down thing. Um, but yeah, my dad does welding. He'll like do like um, bore welding and like cut out like stuff with a bore machine. That's what he really does a lot with welding and stuff like that. Yeah, and so that a lot of that's like heavy equipment repair. Yeah. Things like that. So like our, our first assignment is uh, building a pad. Like you guys build pretty thick pads. Um, on a lot of heavy equipment repair, like on the buckets and scoops and things like that, you have to do a lot of uh, pad building, like resurfacing. So like that would be something like you'd be able to go out there and do in between your, your financing gig. Um, yeah. Just rebuild all that stuff. My dad recently, like the beginning of the year, or the end of last year, actually did a job at Will's work mm -hmm. for a guy at a construction company. And he had to like build up like something and then cut it back out. Oh, yeah. And like, I don't know what it was. Yeah, you, like, you have to have no clue, you have but to build up the, the surface and then get it back to a smooth plane. Yeah, he had to do something like that. So it's like a lot of welding, but then like a lot of grinding on that too. So yeah. It's real fun. Alexander, do you have any? Um, I have a distant cousin who does pipe welding because I knew my dad mentioned him like travel welding a lot. Yeah. But other than that, not really. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting enough. That, I mean, you didn't know much about welding until like you, you started here at the school. So yeah. that, would, that makes sense. That's okay. Um, you'll be the first welder in your family, I guess. That'd be cool. Um, <clears throat> my stepdad, he's a contractor and he does like floorings for Toyota. Mm -hmm. And he also part owns a welding company. So there seems to be a great uh, sense of camaraderie among women in the skilled trades and welding in general. Um, are you guys part of any of the women Facebook groups or Instagram uh, pages? Or do you follow any like uh, famous women Instagrammers that are welders? Oh, yeah. I follow several on like especially Instagram and they'll come up on my feed, like my explore page. And I always like try to follow them. Yeah. Do you have any, any of your favorites that stick out? Um, I think it's like Michaela Welding or something. Yeah, she's with, uh, she's with us at, at Weld.com too, mm -hmm. so that's, that's cool. She's in, I think she's in England. I personally don't follow anyone. Like, I always get them, like, on my, like, TikTok, and I always, like, like their stuff and, like, yeah. comment. But there's a show, Shameless. They have a female welder on there. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? I have no idea. I haven't watched Shameless. Like, you want to tell you about Shameless or about the girl? About the girl. <laughs> about the welder girl. Um, so she dropped out of high school. Because she had a baby, yeah, don't do that. and then got her GED, took it in one day, like all the classes yeah. and stuff, and then she went to welding school, and she ended up like doing some like sketch, like illegal welding gigs, mm -hmm. but she didn't know, yeah. and they ended up making like 500 bucks a night, so she's like, let's keep doing it, and then yeah. like finally got like a real welding job. Cool. Um, I, I feel that. Um, I feel like I've been in those shoes before, so um, <laughs> yeah. So I think this is a really common question. Um, do you feel like you faced obstacles uh, when first getting in the welding class, like as a girl? Like, did you have like, did you have like any any of the boys like give you pushback or like give you a hard time? Yes, yes. yes. my own friends. Well, your friends and your brother. Like, your brother's been with me for four years now. So yeah, um, they like when we first started. Like, we were like we haven't even started welding yet, and we started talking about skills. You say officers, and I was like, oh, I want to run. They're like, you don't know anything about welding. You can't weld. Like, I'll be a better welder than you. Like, don't even try. And I did it anyways. And, um... Well, I mean, and, and your your brother's been okay for four years, and this is your, your first year, and you've already, like, blew right past home. So, demolished. Demolished. You feel like you picked it up and, like, like, progressed so fast because of the boys were giving you a hard time? Or do you feel like it just, like, came to you easily? I feel like I think both. Both. Like, if someone doubts me, I'm gonna prove them wrong. Yeah. Well, you're so, like super competitive with your flipping. Things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if someone's like, "No, you can't do that," or "No, I'm gonna be better than you," no, you're wrong. I will be better than you, mm -hmm. and I show them up. That makes sense. That's how it works. Um, yeah, I feel like I had a little bit of a wall built up, like a defensive, like 
they're going to doubt me, so I'm going to prove them wrong. And then it just came easily. It was, like, fun. I've always enjoyed doing hands-on stuff, so I just picked it up easily. And then that extra drive helped push that. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that worked out. Um, so this is probably one of the, the more common questions we hear a lot is, uh, what are the other women in your families um, say, like your moms and grandmas and cousins? Um, how do they feel about you taking the welding classes? I don't think I've ever seen my, mo- my mom more like really like you're gonna do that yeah. like had no faith in me and it's weird because like your whole family like you have like all my the, whole family all the boys right my dad the my two brothers they're all like crazy into it all and then there's me and my mom my mom was not very she, i mean she didn't care but she was like you're you're not gonna have fun like you're not gonna like that yeah and here i am wow. liking it no. my mom was super supportive she thinks it's a great idea and she just loves like uh, me breaking like the glass ceiling like mm-hmm. women in like a man's predominant field um she's a little bit skeptical of how hard welding can be on your body like mm-hmm. safety wise or yeah. if you're in rough conditions but the more i've like told her about welding and the different opportunities i have the more supportive she is yeah. but yeah. she just loves the idea of me being in like a man's field yeah I, I like that idea too all right well i guess my last question for you guys would be do you have any advice for the like the, the freshman girls that are going to be coming into welding next year as sophomores? Do you guys have any advice for them uh, coming in? Prove everyone wrong. Determination. Just come in. Do what you want. Kick butt. Take names. Um, I would probably say it's not as scary as it seems. Like coming into this class, I was pretty afraid of just the judgment of the people in the class, not yeah. really what we'd be doing. But it's yeah. pretty. It's a pretty fun environment. And you help that by making it more of a safe environment for us. Yeah, I try to make sure everything's moderately safe. And fair. Yeah, and like also agreeing with the, like, it's not as scary as it looks. I was terrified to weld. I was like yeah, absolutely you were, petrified. You were, you were I was scared. I was like, I don't want to catch my hair on fire. I don't want my clothes to be on fire. But um, it's a very rare occasion when that will happen. So Yeah, very few and far between. But it does, it does and can happen. Yeah, um, but it's very rare. It's never happened to me before. You haven't caught on fire yet? I haven't caught on fire either. Oh. I have been burn like burn holes in my shirt, but I haven't caught on fire. Um, last week in, in six hours, all the boys caught on fire. And they were Aren't running, they doing overhead though? They were running overhead. All right. Well, I believe that is the, the timer. Uh, our time is up. If you guys will um, plug the Instagrams. Plug your Instas. Uh, get that social media plugs. It should go right there. As I like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's Abby Christopher two R's and I'll spell it out. A B Y C H R I S T O P H E R R. Two R's. Cool. Okay. Mine's A P Courtney O six. And then mine's Tia T I A. Some people can't figure that out. That's a little dot and I'm just wearing a dot. Makes a little smiley face. And then Bennett B E N N E T T. Cool. Awesome. I hope you all enjoyed the video we shot for you today. Um, I hope some of the answers um, piqued some interest for some of you. And I really hope this uh, video went out to some of the young ladies that are interested in the welding programs. And I hope you uh, decide to take one. You guys will be seeing more of me in the future. So that's all for now. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow.